Hi guys, welcome back to another session on RPA Automation Anywhere A360. I am going to upload series of videos on Automation Anywhere A360, new features and uh, advanced features in A360 with an uh, with help of an example. So let's get started. In, today uh, we are going to learn triggers. So Automation Anywhere A360, we have different kinds of triggers available like email trigger, file trigger, folder trigger, service trigger, hotkeys. So uh, we are going to learn each and every trigger with help of an example. So first of all, we are going to learn what is trigger. So triggers enables a task to run automatically in response to an event that occurs on your computer. Okay, uh, let's suppose if window open or window closed or file open, created, deleted, updated, modified, or if you want to focus on any particular application or if you want to update or rename, specific file or if you want to close any specific window or if you receive any email or if you delete any email something like that so based on the trigger on your computer you can automatically uh, run a bot so let's get started uh, let's see uh, how to implement a triggers using automation anywhere a360 now we are in automation anywhere a360 control room home page so here we can create a bot in two different ways like one is we can create by clicking on create a bot option or else we can navigate to automation and here we can just click on create new button option and you have to click on bot so this is how we can create a new bot once you click on create new bot here you can find a create bot pop-up window here we need to provide details such as name description and folder location where do you want to store the files or uh, files or atmx task so <clears throat> let me provide a name um, let's say triggers and description is optional and let me choose the folder location so here i have already created few folder structures uh let me select a360 folder and let me click on choose so whatever the task we are going to develop uh, the trigger task it is going to store under a360 folder so let me click on create and edit so once you click on create and edit it will navigate to the development ed editor so in the development editor we have three design uh, flows like one is flow design and second one is list design and third one is dual design and the left hand side you can see a uh, number of uh, actions and variables and triggers are available so if you want to um, you know work on any specific command just you can set the particular command using search box let's suppose a csv yes you can just type the csv keyword to fetch the particular command package so today we are going to focus on triggers so let me click on triggers and then we have different of triggers available so these are a lot of different types of triggers available in a360 so a360 demo package demo package these are all the main triggers email trigger file trigger folder trigger hotkey trigger interface trigger and the process trigger service trigger and window trigger so let's see one by one uh, so let me first click on file trigger so once you click on file trigger it will automatically uh, you know uh, display in under the trigger session so here right hand side we can see the properties of the trigger event here we need to choose the file so let me browse let me select the file first Uh, so let me go to documents, Python, and uh, trigger. So here I am going to create a notepad file. So let me create a new text file. Let me rename it to trigger1. Okay. So let me select this file. So here we can perform different trigger actions like uh, whenever the file is created, then we can run the bot or whenever the file is deleted or renamed, modified, we can perform the certain actions. So let me choose modified action and uh, you can assign the output to a uh, record variable. So here you can assign the output to a record variable, but this is optional. If you want to assign, you can create a record variable 
option over here. Let me save the task. And now I'm going to perform certain actions on the particular file. So uh, here we have CSV command, right? So we'll work on the CSV or text file command. So let me click on open CSV or text file. So it supports both CSV and text file. So here we need to provide um, a few properties such as session name, file path, and delimiter, and, and trimming, leading, and trailing spaces, something like that. So let's see one by one. So here you want to change the session name. You can change the session name with your custom name, or you can keep the default session name. But each and every file should have the unique session name and file path. So file path, you can choose the file from control room or desktop, or you can assign the file path to a variable and you can just call the variable. So let me choose the desktop file and let me browse the uh, same file we have created right in under triggered folder let me choose the same file for processing and what i'll do i'll just click on save i want to read the uh, data in the text file so what i'll do i'll just drag and drop the read command activity and i will assign the uh, values in the text box to a table data type so here, if you see the type is automatically, it is reflecting as table data type and the name is table from CSV. So let me click on, if you want to change the name, yes, you can change the name. Let's suppose if you have any child bots or master bots, if you want to pass the values as input and output based on the um, direction, you can choose the either use as input or use as output. So since we are not using any child or master task here, so I am not going to select any one of the uh, argument type. So let me click on create and select. And finally, what I'll do, I'll just click on close activity. So each and every command should have the unique session name and the same session name for this particular file. So here I have assigned uh, all the required input to table from CSV. So now what I'll do, I'll just uh, print the uh, data available in the text file by using message box activity. Let me type message box and let me drag and drop message box activity here. And now I'll press functional F2 to select the table data. So Table data, each and every table, it contains either row, row and columns. So we can provide the row index and column index to display the data of the text file. So now we are good to go. So here we have covered a uh, file trigger. And whenever if you modify the file in the particular location, then automatically this code is going to execute. Let's see. Uh, in order to run this bot, we need to click on run button. Here, if you click on run button, here we have two options available. So run button. So run button is nothing but uh, it will directly execute the piece of code. Uh, it will not consider the inputs from trigger. Let's suppose if you click on run with trigger, so it will read the inputs from the trigger. So whenever the file is modified, then only this piece of code will execute. But if you don't want to modify this file, but you want to run this code without help of trigger, yes, you can directly click on trigger. run now. Yes, you can go ahead with the run with trigger. So let's see both the examples now. So first of all, let me click on run now. I will not update anything in the triggered file, but still what is going to execute the code, let's see. Uh, sorry here we have some issue argument type so let's let me check the type so he here if you see here uh, here we have a problem with the line number four and the table index zero is invalid out or out of form so 
what does it mean so what is out of bounds so there is no specific range or value in the particular uh, table or uh, you know file then we will get such kind of errors so we can skip this error uh, pop ups by using error handling so automation anywhere a360 we have advanced error handling concepts like try catch you know uh, finally throw rethrow concepts uh, so we are going to learn error exception handling in the upcoming sessions so first of all we will fix this issue so let me click on close and let me go to the trigger file here i'll update put value let's say hello and let me save the file and let me go to the task again and let me click on run now command so run now command is used to run the piece of code uh, you know without uh, uh, without considering the trigger inputs or outputs trigger input or output if the file is updated or not it is going to execute the piece of code and here you can see the uh, value is hello now we are going to learn how to run the bot with the help of triggers so let me click on run with triggers here we need to wait uh, um, until the trigger is enabled so once the trigger is enabled then we can update the uh, configuration file or input file to run the particular piece of code unless and until if you update the file uh, this code is uh, still in execution process only we will not get any output so if you see here now bot is trying to listening for triggers so that means if you perform trigger actions then bot is going to execute piece of code otherwise it will still in the execution mode only so what i will do i will go to triggering file and let me open oh, sorry uh, let me open and here what i will do i will update updated updated one let me click on save and let me quickly go to automation anywhere. Now, if you see the bot is running automatically. Here you can see the um, updated one message box from the file. So this is how we can apply the triggers. There are some different types of triggers. We are going to cover all the triggers in the upcoming sessions. I hope you like this video. Oh, please subscribe and click on bell icon uh, and please don't forget to click on bell, bell icon that's why you will be notified every time when i upload new videos or series on automation anywhere a360 advanced concepts and new features and interview questions and answers uh, if you have any queries or concerns you know uh, please uh, drop me a message i'll try to uh, you know get back to you or if required i can share the required uh, details or documents or videos on the ship Thank you.